So actually, uh, your question is very interesting. It really got me thinking about it from uh, multiple aspects. And my background is very different from um, other panelists because I'm also coming from the human-computer interaction, really centered on the human side of it. So we're just actually asking me a question before I answer your question is, uh, what to be persisted, right? So thinking about the parallel world in our, our real world, so what we really want to persist in is memory, right? Because you don't want to talk to a person who said, okay, I don't remember who you are. <laughs> and you want, so I don't remember what we have said last time. So you wanted to actually preserve the memory of the people who are around you and yourself as well, right? Second, I was thinking about it is because in our cognitive AI, one of the very important attributes we want to power AI is with what we call it, uh, the ability to be able to read people. So it's about this uh, infer people's personality, psychographic characteristics. So when think about it is in the real world, what do you want to persist that is uh, a person's character, right? Characters, maybe characteristics. Otherwise we would call this person multiple personality disorder because uh, you want the person to be persistent on their behavior, on their interaction with other people. And the third one, I think is also important, uh, relationships. That's why you want to, at least most of us want to have lasting marriage, have a great relationships with our colleagues, with our children, and with our friends, right? So then now I'm trying to mirror back to the uh, virtual reality in the metaverse world. First of all, do we want to preserve, persist our memory? Sounds like everybody agrees to it, right? And I'm wondering, because it's a virtual world, we are the humans who are creating the world. Maybe we have the rights, we have the power to make things forgetful. For example, in the real world, you don't really have that power, right? You have a horrible memory you, that you carry that throughout your life. In the one, so I'm kind of like almost like a playing devil's advocate for what things you don't want to preserve and you don't want to persist if you could do that in the virtual world. So um, in the metaverse, let's talk about second characteristics, the characters, right? So characters, as I said, in the real world, you want to preserve that. Otherwise, people will view you as some kind of a personality disorder. But in the real world, hey, I can afford to be multiple personalities. I can, but that kind of personalities may needs to be persisted through the context, right? So for example, in one part of the world, I want to be an artist. I want to show off my creative side of it. But in another, maybe sub world, like the sub Reddit, right? The sub metaverse, I want to be a helper. I want to be the Mother Teresa type of a personality. Maybe I can, maybe I can do that. And the third, the relationships. So I think this only these things sounds like we wanted to pre persisted in the real world, right? Sorry, in the metaverse and the real world because you won't have that relationship with your, or uh, maybe digital twins, people called about that, and with your AI companion over there. So given this one, I don't really see the challenges from a, a technical side different from the uh, real world of creating a AI assistance, but I do see tremendous amounts of challenges from the ethical and from uh, actually, um, uh, I would say ethical, maybe from a business and from um, a human humanity point of view. So that's why I'm kind of raising this question. What do you want to persist? And then what people, what do people want to persist in the real world? Because in the real world versus in the, uh, in, in the metaverse, right? Because it's a very different world. If you want to create a world that's so, so powerful and you can't really do everything, you are the king or you're the queen, or maybe you are the, God of the world, you probably don't want to follow exactly what's in the real world, right? So that's why I basically, I would love to hear other panelists' comments as well. And just kind of throughout, because I saw this is a very interesting, provoking uh, kind of a discussion in terms of, so what's the metaverse should really be like? What do people want to be persistent in that world? Because persistence does come with a price as well. and different types of price, right? Not just about computational price, also price about uh, mental burdens uh, and physical burdens. So I'm just wondering, um, I'm, I'm gonna stop here. Uh, I'm babbling a bit and uh, 
hear what other or people, what folks would say. Thank you. I do say uh, Tom has some comments. So Tom, would you? Oh, you know, I was just thinking while you're talking about that, Michelle. Um, yeah. You know, the metaverse, if it's going to be a real reflection of, of who we are, right, as people, it's probably going to be an awful lot of different things. Some people use the metaverse to augment their own capabilities in some way, yep. creative way. Mm -hmm. Some people are going to use it for pure escape, mm -hmm. you know, to yep. entertain themselves. And they may not want to pers uh, pursue Exactly, exactly. exactly. That's what I, said, yeah, that's what... I think it's going to vary an awful lot. That's mm -hmm. my own impression of how people would use it, just because of the way people are. Yeah, yeah. I heard that when the Second Life started, I even remember there was a guy, because I went to see the demo somewhere. It was really cool, it's especially thinking about this about uh, many years ago. So one guy said it is in the real life, he's a husband, he's a father of two, right? And he is, a, I remember it's a broker somewhere, maybe a real estate broker. But in the virtual world, in Second Life, that's why I call the Second Life, he's a, a very powerful, I remember, some kind of a business executive. He has multiple wives over there. <laughs> this is something, like you said, a fantasy life, right? He doesn't. He doesn't want to carry the same two kids with one wife. He has to work hard in the real world into the escape. So that's why I said it is, uh, what do you want to persist? That it's very interesting to think about. As I said, I thank you who come up, who who came up with this topic. And another one, it is like I talk about the mental, uh, like for example, PTSD. Right. The reason people have PTSD is because of horrible memories, and if you can erase that. Ray, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm, I've been this controversial as well. Some people say that that's part of life. I don't want to erase that. But other people who had that, uh, who have had the PTSD, would say otherwise. Well, that's great. I actually, <laughs> I can't uh, keep myself from saying something about that. I think, uh, to me, I think the, uh, the most important value of metaverse is to provide the possibility that uh, you can have a, you can live a different life. Uh, life is elsewhere, or uh, life in the reality could be boring, but you can live a different life or multiple lives uh, in the metaverse. That's why I really love that the, the name of uh, Second Life. I think that's exactly to the point. And uh, so uh, to me, I think uh, uh, as long as we can uh, try to use some um, like standards or policies to reduce the negative perspectives of uh, Metaverse experiences, metaverse will be a uh, uh, truly a uh, great thing for uh, all the human uh, beings in terms of we can uh, uh, have much better life experiences and uh, uh, different lives. So that's uh, one of my uh, own uh, motivations behind why I have been working on uh, in this area for, for uh, many years.